was the first planet that formed in our solar system, the very, very first planet. And what's really interesting about this planet is it has so many heavy elements. Now, in cosmology, anything past hydrogen and helium are considered to be very, very heavy elements. Usually hydrogen and helium is the majority of at least the cosmos or the observable universe of what we've already known. So anything after that is considered to be like really, really rare. Jupiter has so many of these heavy elements. Um, it actually has way more heavy elements than our sun. So studying this would be really cool. Um, one thing that we want to know about it is uh, possibly if it was maybe closer to the sun than it is now and it might have migrated. This is called planetary migration. As of now, we have classified Jupiter as one of the gas planets. We think that it might possibly just be all gas. However, we are pretty sure there has to be some type of solid core of some sort. However, we don't know where that core is, uh, maybe how flat it is, what it's made of. Um, so the way that we can actually tell this is through the planet's trajectory and the trajectory of Juno as the spacecraft flies by. Um, the trajectory is actually just measured by the path um, that Juno has when it crosses over Jupiter or by Jupiter. And this trajectory, the way that it's measured, depending on how much of a pull there is, we can actually determine what possibly the core is made of how flat the core is, um, how deep it is in, how, like, how much closer it is to possibly the gaseous atmosphere that, that um, Jupiter has around it. So this is really cool because we want to know what elements are in it. Like possibly like if there's you know oxygen, maybe in addition to hydrogen, which might mean that there's possibly water. And if there is, if there is possibly water ice, uh, water ice is very efficient for trapping heavy elements, so you might find even more heavy elements, which might show us, you know, a lot about the history of our solar system. If we can start to study and analyze more about the history of our solar system, that is going to teach us not just more about us and our planet and, like, maybe our past and our future, but also other planets in our solar system. It's just so important to understand where we came from so possibly can understand where other places are and how they came from. Um, lastly, we want to measure the gravitational field. Um, to, by doing this, it's because we want to know also what the core is made of. So other than the trajectory, um, we want to figure out also the gravitational field, how strong it is, because depending on how strong its gravity is will depend on what the core is made of. There's also this really cool thing about graviton. So graviton is a theoretical particle. A graviton is um, thought about possibly being um, what is inside gravity. So it's not just gravity is, is an occurrence that, because right now gravity is being measured more of like something that results from something else. However, we're starting to think possibly gravity is actually a physical particle or even maybe just an energy particle. And lastly, we want to figure out just how deep the, the red spot is on Jupiter. That's actually been there for approximately 300 years. So that's that, and it was like really inspirational. Um, just watch like a couple of videos uh, that Scott Fulton has uploaded. I'll, I'll attach that in the details below. And definitely watch that out because it's super cool.